Um, Marebi Custard, you are not a bastard. That is what he is popularly known for. His name is Salako Kwamile, but he's popularly known as SLK with his Bodawa Sioux impressions and his several other play on words that we get to see on Instagram and now on TV with Thank God I'm Funny. I'm joined by SLK and I'm so excited. It's a delight to have wow. you. I'm Marebi Custard. You are not a bastard. Look at you. Look at, Look you. at you. Looking, looking like a snake. Yeah, it's you fun. are just. Oh my God! Ooh. Wow. <laughs> How are you? I'm great. I'm great. How did you decide to start using Omorebi custard? You are not a bastard as your catchphrase. I don't know. I, I, it just most of my jokes, most of my lines, they come to me. I'm not the kind of comedian or the kind of creative that actually sits down and deliberately cooks up stuff. Most of the things come to me, so I don't like forcing humor. So I like to get my jokes. They come to me, so I stay in that space. And I just get them. How do so, they come to you? Do they take a bike or do they use taxi? Oh, um, uh, <laughs> <laughs> That's your thing. No, no, it's fine. It's and right. the conventional of dry jokes, which of your parents would you say you took your comedic bone from? It has to be my dad. Even though he's the most serious person I know, but he's a creative. He writes scripts, he hosts events. So I'm sure he has that side to it. I think his seriousness came with hustle. With having to grow up, not trying. But he's actually a script, he's a creative, and that's where I got it from. Thank God I'm funny. Yeah. How did you come up with that? TGIF. Um, so, I don't know. So I'm just blessed with getting names for stuff. So, I came up with the name. I've always known I was going to do a show, my special. My special comes from a place of art, not a place of making money or I have to do a show. It comes from a place of art. So, I wanted to do a special like every other comedian in the world. A special to a comedian is like an album to an artist. So, every now and then, you put out your body of work. You crack your single jokes at other shows, then you get a, a compendium, a, an a, album. A, yeah, an album of my jokes. And so I knew I was going to do that. The name came up as one of my posts. I just wrote TJF, thank God I'm funny. Then Bobby, Bobby was like, hmm, you this boy. And anytime he says that kind of thing, it means he likes something. So I just said, mm, I'll use this name as my, as my show. And that's, that's how it came up. We know that there are several Nigerian comedians and international comedians that have influenced your art. I know Bobby is one of them. Bobby, Bobby is fantastic. He's one of my major mentors. And it was a great privilege for him to um, specially appear on my, on my film. Yes. Uh, but I know that you also have an obsession for an international comedian. Yes. Anyone who follows you on Instagram knows this. Chris! <laughs> <laughs> what is it about you, Andy? Chris Rock. No, no, Chris Rock. I just think he's the best comedian in the world. Well, this is open to arguments. Like, a lot of people have argued for, but for so me... What, what makes him the best? Of I think he's so intelligent. The fact that he can say real stuff makes so much sense. Chris Rock will tell you stuff and you just be like, that's true. And he says it, he says it well. And he has comedy OCD, something I think I have as well. I've been accused of that also. When I mean comedy OCD, I just like comedy being done well. Chris Rock said something when he was hosting the Oscars. He hosts the Oscars around February, Oscars around February. As at Halloween, that is October 31st or November, he had his monologue ready. Wow. Which is why he had to rewrite his monologue after the boycott issue hosting the last Oscars that he hosted. So, like, he's that kind of person, and that's the kind of person I am, too. So, I like comedy being done the right way, and Chris Rock is someone that over the years, I thought he has just been that consistent. Back from to back. From Big Ass Jokes, which is his first special, to Tambourine. When you, you, you became popular for your yeah. skits, particularly for your brother, that was your impressions. Yeah. Were you nervous when you were going to do your first event, knowing that you're going to be doing stand-up comedy and that the rating would, like, people would rate you differently from, nah. you know, or some people would still see you with the eye of, ah, is this not what I was you doing the stand-up? I've sure. always, I've always done stand-up. I started with stand-up. Stand-up is my first love. I did stand-up. Okay, stand-up was not the first thing I did. I acted first. Most people don't know I was a kid actor. But I've always loved stand-up. So I started stand-up in 2009. So most people that know me know I do stand-up. Uh, but I like cracking, I like doing humor whichever way so th that's what brought about this case so i've always wanted people to know me as a stand-up comedian and i would always like people to know me first as a stand-up comic before any other thing interesting now we play the one minute trailer of your move your album My your comedy yeah. album that is now a movie yeah so it's the first nigerian comedy special comedy special in the sense that like ta was the first nigerian comedian to do his one-man stand-up comedy show but this is the first movie content making it a movie content as it obtains all over the world. You've seen What Now, Kevin Hart. You've seen The Responsible Kevin Hart. You've seen Tambourine. You've seen Afraid of the Dark, Trevor Noah. Now this is 
SLK TGIF. Thank God I'm friends. And we are so proud of you. We look forward to you know having this on the international map one By day. God's grace. Hearing that you know it's on Netflix. Yay! Everybody's going to see. It. That's where we are going to. That's see, as I prophesy this thing into your life, when it's happening, you must not keep me out of it. I have. I will like you will be right beside me. Are we not getting married again? Wow. <laughs> Let me break the table. Wow, wow, wow. <laughs> this table that... You know, I, I, I'm even shocked. I didn't know. Please let me know when we are going to... I, no, I didn't know no, we're getting married. No, no consent is important. Eh. Yeah. <laughs> okay, now let's talk about TGIF, the, yeah, movie. the movie. It's coming out... 26th of July. How strategic. Do you know what that day is? Your birthday. My birthday. I knew it now. I said, I, I said no, I want it 26 because my wife is getting married. Yeah, sorry. My <laughs> wife is... I said my wife is getting married. This one is just a joke. <laughs> So 26th of July is hitting the cinemas, and um, guess what? What? It's your birthday. It's my birthday! And so, yeah, but you're still going to pay to watch it. I will still pay. Me, and you want to marry? You to support the marriage? family business. No, 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 I will, no, no. I will, I will, I will like buy your, your, your hair for you. No, which kind of hair? Who is doing birthday gift of hair? You and David, are you not men? Eh? Uh, so, Men are um, in sizes. <laughs> <laughs> we have had the pleasure of speaking with Salah Kokpomile, and he's the convener of TGIF. I almost said SGIF. TGIF. Thank God I'm funny. Thank God I'm funny. And his comedy movie is hitting the cinemas on the 26th day of July, which happens to be my birthday. So I'm telling you a little over a month before then so that I don't have an excuse not to send me birthday gifts. Mm. What feeling do you want people to have when they're leaving the cinema? What do you think would be that feeling people would take away from the cinema? This is comedy done in a different way. It's not the conventional comedy. So you come prepared. You, don't, you, you would laugh and you would also feel a sense of, wow, this was really nice. I don't just want to make you laugh. I want to leave you with, a, with an impression. Like a travel mark, I want to leave you with a lasting impression. Ah! Lines. On that note, we draw the curtain. Nothing further can be said. Case closed. Full stop. Mm. Mm. That's it. Lines. It's deep. Deep. Lasting impression. It's in touching the mind. so deep, it's it, touching it, oil. Mmm. Oh, depend. Oh, depend. That's the deep end. Deep. Oh! oh! <laughs> you must watch Tengara. Tengara, but these are the kind of things you'll be. Oh. You know, we are just done. Follow him on Instagram at SL Comedy. That is S L K O M E D Y. Why are you teaching me? Don't I know my. No, I'm just. Yeah. S L K O M E D Y. Now we can go and talk about our marriage plan. To enjoy more of this, our Ugonke videos when you just watch, press this button to subscribe on top of our YouTube page. You go love her.